Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to apply object-oriented engineering in advice. You will create an object type and visualize three instances of it. The nodes will be mirrored from an OPC UA server. As a first step, a data source needs to be added to your project. For this purpose, Advice Scala comes with an OPC UA test server. Open the Windows Start menu, search for OPC UA test server and click to start it. You will need the server URL, which is shown in the console later on. Back in the Advice Builder, open Server My Server. Right click on Data Sources and select Add Data Source OPC UA. Enter Test Server as name and the OPC UA Servers URL below. Click OK to confirm your input. Now you are going to create an object type. Right click on Object Types in the project tree and select Add Node Object Type. As name, enter Light Type and confirm your input with OK. To browse the data structure of the previous added test server, right-click the OPC UA data source and select Browse. Navigate to Test Server Objects L001. Copy the node Light Intensity with right-click Copy. To paste and mirror this node in your object type, right-click on Light Type and select Paste and Mirror in Output node. Now confirm the dialog for data variable belongings with OK. Leave the suggested name as it is and click Yes. Now the object type needs a display to visualize and control the values. Right click on Light Type and select Add Display. Give the display the name Main Display and confirm your input with OK. Double-click it to open the display in the graphic editor. You need to change the display size because there will be just a few elements inserted into the display. Select File Settings from the toolbar and set the width to 200 and the height to 120 pixels. Save the changes with a click on OK. Now search the library for the button Set Address. Drag and drop it three times into the display area. Select all three elements and expand the parameters in the attribute area. Edit the parameter base with a click on the value field and then click the button R to activate relative addressing. Choose base from the drop down field. Relative addressing ensures that the node address is relative to its base instance, which will be created later on. Now click the button with the three dots on it to select a node address. Expand Object Types in the left colon and select Light Type as Base Address. As Endpoint, select the node Light Intensity in the right colon. Save your selection with OK and confirm your input in the Parameters value field by pressing the Enter key. For the next step, select only the first button and set the value to 100. Set this number as Description too. Repeat this process for the other two buttons as well. For the second one, set 50 as a value and as description. Parameterize the third button with value and description 0. Now select the circle tool from the toolbar and draw a circle next to the three buttons. This circle symbolizes our source of light. To display the current light intensity, Create a new dynamization by right-clicking the circle and select Add Simple Dynamic. The pre-selection node for the event is correct. Activate Relative Addressing here as well by clicking the R button. Base must be selected in the drop-down list. Then open the dialog for addressing with a click on the button with the three dots on it. In the left colon select Light Type as Base Address and in the right one Light Intensity as Endpoint. Save your selection with OK. Select Color in the Action Area and Value Range as Type. Set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 100. 
a start fill color, choose a gray tone from the color palette and the bright yellow as stop fill color. Remove the check for stroke because you only want to change the circle's fill color. Save the dynamization with a click on OK. Save the display in the graphic editor as well. Now create three instances of light type. Go to My Server and right click on Objects and select Add Node, Object, Light Type. Select Numbered in the left colon and then replace the text New Node with Light. Be sure to set the object count to the value 3 because you want to create three instances. Activate Add Rel Mirror Base and click the button Select. Navigate to Test Server Objects and select the folder L001. Confirm your selection with OK. Replace the numbers 00 with a percent sign. This ensures that every instance is mirrored to its corresponding counterpart on the data source. Confirm your settings with OK. Open the display main from My Server Displays. Now drag and drop each instance into the display area. As you see, the object type's display was inserted automatically. The nodes behind it are connected to the corresponding instance. Please save the display and open the visualization from the Advice Builder menu. Go to Guided Actions, Start Web Browser for Server, My Server, HTTP 1. Now you can change every instance's value by using the buttons. Thanks to the in and output data mirroring, value changes will take effect on the data source as well. Very well done! You created an object type and instances. You also mirrored their nodes with nodes on the data source.